Welcome back for another Horizon 4 Forzathon. Wanted to make sure I covered this so everyone gets their Forzathon points because, you know, we all need our Forzathon points for the amazing Black Friday Forzathon shop bust. Anyways, the four challenges you're going to have to do in a super saloon, it is going to count for 15% completion percentage towards the autumn season and also obviously you're going to get some Forzathon points. At this point, I really think there's no use for points and I'm going to stop saying the word points now, I promise you. The autumn season though, there's a brand new car, that Ferrari 512S, you're definitely going to want to get that. Make sure you have the Lake Lodge house if you want to get double Forzathon points. The cars that we're going to be able to use, I really like this. The first chapter is, oh yes, and that's exactly what I was saying when we could use any super saloon we wanted. We weren't restricted to use a particular car. I decided to go with the all-wheel drive Julia. Chapter one will complete right when you drive out of the house or the festival in your super saloon. Chapter two is to get five of the triple pass skills. I went to the Horizon Festival Sprint. I did make a blueprinted event for this one. It did work, so I shared my code this week. It actually worked for me. If you don't know how to look that up, just go to blueprint events here, and at the bottom it says search. Search for my code right there in the share code section. Basically your goal here, and again, difficulty does matter for this, I would put it on average. You want to have enough cars to be able to pass, and you can use whatever car you want. I'm not going to tell you what car to use. I love how you can actually just pick a super saloon. Rewind doesn't really matter, but you can have it on just in case. You have to pass three cars pretty much simultaneously. After you do that, after you see the skill pop, just restart the event and go and do it again. I recommend using all-wheel drive, upgrade your car, make it fast, and just rip past some of the drive -atars. A lot of the super saloons are rear-wheel drive, so you're going to be able to do that pretty easily. Chapter 3 is then going to be to earn 12 sideswipe skills. Sideswipe skills, they're pretty straightforward. You just need to sideswipe something with your car. The easiest thing I think to do is just drift into like walls or into street signs and I was driving along here I'm like oh look another Julia I have a friend I have a drive guitar friend what are you doing what are you doing bruh I, I thought we were cool we have the same car now so wait you were trying to turn left and now you're I don't know I don't know what just happened there I mean I guess he didn't like that side swipe that I got I don't know, but sideswipe skills, you just gotta keep driving around the map. There's walls everywhere, there's fences everywhere, there's street signs everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go, you just need to kind of sideswipe into them. And that will continue to give you sideswipe skills. You need 12 of them. Once you get all 12, obviously chapter 3 will be complete. And pleased as punch is the challenge name. 19 to the dozen, chapter 4 will be to get four, 3 stars. Chapter 4 is to get 3 stars, nailed it, at the Swan Danger Sign. So I always filter my map for the Danger Signs, just makes it easier for you to find where you're going to have to go. The 3 star goal for Swan Dive is 750 feet. Now, I upgraded my Julia even more than I did for the Triple Pass skills. I didn't fully upgrade the car for the Triple Pass skills, just made it faster. For this though, you definitely want to make it even faster. You're gonna need enough speed and acceleration. You need to go about 135, 140 miles per hour when you're launching off the danger sign. All wheel drive, again, recommended. If you wanna put rally tires on, wider tires, just make the thing fast. Turbo upgrades, weight reduction upgrades. That's the kind of stuff you wanna use for triple pass and for this, just to make sure your car is fast enough. I would share this Julia tune, but again, I didn't wanna restrict people on the car they had to use. I want you to be able to select the car that you want to use of the super saloons that's what makes it fun being able to drive what you want and not what i want or what forza wants us to but that is it 19 to the dozen the weekly challenge is complete for the 200 forza thon points 100 if you don't have that lake lodge house that i showed you in the beginning of this video again that's 15 percent for the autumn season go get that ferrari f12 and if you need forza thon points there's some more for you to spend with the black friday forza thon shop really hope this video helped you out if you have any questions at all Please just let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.